welcome to Mastermind Gameplay. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and join in the fun. Today we're going to take a look at a large version of a precision driller. This thing is pretty cool. It has 5x5 five five short wheels, entirely enclosed cabin, and an automated drill on the back. This thing may not drill a lot of stuff, but it definitely does the job. Also, we have a connector so you can offload. And its chassis is pretty well reinforced in case you hit any hard bumps. I purposely did not cover my battery here. That way I can tell from a distance if it starts going low or not. You can see through the inside here. Everything is completely sealed though, as mentioned. If I close the doors here we should see it immediately pressurize. And we have a nice view of the hinge in the back for the drill. Here on the floor, we have four different timer blocks, a small ore detector, and a small antenna. That's pretty much all you need on this rig. It's not too bad for styling. This is a simple push-button control system. As soon as you hit the button, it lifts the entire mechanism up, as you can see. And let's take a closer look here. This is all driven by two hydrogen generators. Since we are on a moon that primarily has a lot of ice, I figured why not. We have multiple cargo containers here. So you can continuously fill but it doesn't look tacky. And then of course offload with the connector as mentioned before. As for the setup, you have one base arm, one hinge, a 90 degree connector, a horizontal piston, another hinge, and a double hinge after that. A piston for downward and a drill. It's important that you will need a set of double hinges in order for this to lay completely flat. Let's go through some of these controls here and I'll show you what I mean. Here's our primary focus. Our hinge base. Our hinge mid-lower. Hinge mid-top. And hinge mid-upper. Then of course we have the timer block for lift and lift two and then we have a retract and retract two for lift we're going to reverse the hinge base the mid lower and activate lift to start for lift two our setup actions are going to be reverse the mid upper and reverse the mid top hinge and then of course kick on our drill for retract we have to break these into two segments by the way because if we don't move the hinges first they'll jam up the pistons we're going to reverse the mid upper mid top start the retract too but this time we're going to turn off the drill as well we don't need to tear it up our body as it's lowering. Then we have hinge base reverse, mid lower reverse, piston base extend, piston top retract, and piston upper extend. The lift and reverse are almost exact opposite of each other, except for a few small things. And that's about it for the controls. Again, it is just a one push button. You can see on my toolbar here, that number two is going to be a lift. Number three is retract. If I want to reverse my piston base and piston top in order to drill farther down, I can. Initially, when you lift it, it doesn't extend it into the ground. 
That's why I put those options to be able to reverse those two pistons. The entire sequence is actually pretty easy to do, but it can be finicky if you try to shear inertia. So one of the things I would highlight is do it without the shear inertia depending on what you're building. It could tear itself apart. I did have a version earlier that flipped itself almost completely off the planet. And that's about it. Now let's go see if we can find something to drill. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you leave your tips and tricks in the comments section below. I appreciate it.